Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial and today we're going to look at a few different ways of filtering data in a report. Um, there's various ways of showing columns or hiding columns or hiding rows um, depending on, on predetermined data or on parameters. There's a few different ways of doing it, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So on screen I've got a report, if I preview it, it is a sales report that shows figures, uh, sales year to date, last year's figures, and then a, a quota figure here. What I want to do is I want to only show data where the year to date column is greater than 1.5 million. So we can see it will hide these few columns here. There's a column here that it should hide in this one here and the top one. So there's a few different ways of doing that. Let us begin, first of all, if I go back to my design, let's begin with the filter. If I select my tablet just by clicking in, in a cell here and I get the border here on the left and at the top, if I right click on the border, I choose tablet properties, I've got a filter option. And here I can add a filter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say filter on the sales year to date and I'm going to do greater than, and then I'm going to put a value in here for this to be greater than. So this here at the top, it says, include rows where the following conditions are true. Sales year to date is greater than this value. Now, I'm pretty sure when I do this, I'm going to get an error, but I'm going to try and do it, and I'll demonstrate the error uh, and how to fix it as well. So if I click OK, and if I preview this, there it says here. So I've got this error saying you cannot compare data type decimal to double. Okay, so if I just go back to here, <clears throat> if I right click here, go to tablix properties and go back to my filter. What I want to do to fix this, I need to change the data type of this value here. So I've I've put in one and a half million there. If I click on the FX, it'll take me to this expression window. And what I need to do is convert or cast this value to be a particular data type. And we do that. Um, if I go to co common functions, there's a conversion list here. And what I want to do is I want to cast it to a, a, a decimal or convert it to a decimal. And the function to use is CDEC. And it's case sensitive in most versions of SSRS. So to do this, I want to do equals capital C, D, E, C. And then in brackets, I'm going to put my value. So here as well, it shows you two examples of how you can use the C deck function. So there it is. If I click OK, I get this thing here that says it's an expression. That's good. If I click OK and I click Preview, we should now get a filtered list. And you can see that all of the values in this list have a year to date that's greater than 1.5 million. So great. That's, that, that's worked fine. Let me remove this filter. Go to Tablix Properties, go to Filters. Uh, and actually, before I remove it, it's worth saying you can add any number of filters here just by clicking Add, and you get another uh, filter option um, below. And you can kind of move them up so that the filters work in a particular order. So I'm going to click on this one and delete it. I click on this one and delete it. The filters are gone. And then now if I go back to Preview, it should show everything. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to create a parameter. So if I right click on parameters and choose add parameter, let us create a parameter that is, um, we'll call it uh, year to date limit. Um, um, and we'll make it a number. We'll make it an integer, which is, should be fine. Click OK. So now we've got this value here of year to date limit. And actually, I'm going to go back to that and I want to give it a default. Oops. We'll give, give it a default of zero. And if I run my report, it won't do anything. It'll show all the data and it'll show that I've got this year to date limit at the top here. But I've done nothing else with it yet. So now if I click on decimal, uh, sorry, on design, and I right click here in the left hand side of my row, I've got an option of row visibility. And if I choose row visibility, I can choose to show it rows, hide rows, or do it based on an expression. And if I highlight that and I click on the little FX button, it takes me to the expression field again. Now, important to know, 
set expression for hidden. So whatever I put here, if it is true, the row will be hidden. So what I want to say is, because <clears throat> what I want to do is only show values that are greater than whatever I put in my parameter. So conversely, I want to hide anything that's less than my parameter. So what I want to say is, there's an equals already there. I'm going to say equals um, my year to date field is less than my parameter, year to date limit. So that's saying hide this if the year to date is less than the parameter. Now, if I run this, it will initially show us all the data because my parameter is zero and nothing is less than zero. But if I change this to be 1.5 million and view the report, it should now filter it. Yeah. So in previous videos, I've, I've kind of shown how to filter it using the SQL here. Um, but this is just a way of doing it using the actual Tablix object. OK, so that's the raw visibility. Let me add the new parameter. And this parameter is going to be, oops, sorry, let me add a new parameter. And this parameter is going to be called show um, quota. Show quota. Oh, I must have like a type. Uh, yes, no, and the available values are going to be yes with a value of y and no with the value of n and the default value is going to be yes so the the options are going to be yes and no and if i just click on preview um we'll click on the drop down here and then we've got a yes and no again i haven't plugged anything in i haven't done anything with this yet so it doesn't matter what i put here it's not going to make any difference <clears throat> so now if i come to here and i Click somewhere within my tablix. I right click at the top and I choose, sorry, and I right click on the column that I want to show or hide, which is the quota column. I can choose column, column visibility. And here I can say show or hide in the same way that I did with the row, based on the expression. Click on the FX and I can say show or hide if the sales quota is, sorry. Not if the sales, sales quota, if I say um, if the show quota equals n. So hide if the show quota equals n. That's the right way around. So if I click OK, click OK and preview this. So the show quota is, is yes, so there it is. But if I change it to be no, and click view report oh I've got something wrong there hold on a sec oh uh, in fact I know what I've done there let me just come back to here look at column visibility look at my expression ah okay so here um if I just get rid of the value here, you'll see I've got two options, well, I've got a few options, but one of them is label and one of them is value. Now, if you remember when I set this up, the, the, oh, the value is in. I guess I'll put no. I'll put the label as, let me try the label. So, hide if show quota value equals no. I've got my logic wrong here. One second. So it shows quota, if I change that to no. Yeah, I've, I've got something, a funny thing set up, I guess, in my parameter there. Um, but okay, so I've changed it to be the label. I can see that the label is no. Um, and so because I've said no, it hides that column. So there are three different ways of filtering, showing or hiding data rows or columns based on values and based on parameter um, settings that's the end of this video if you found it helpful uh, please give me a thumbs up or some sort of 
uh, if you can give me some sort of um, a comment any feedbacks appreciated thanks for watching see you next time